I make a ton of mistakes when it comes to recording my videos. Trust me, just take a look at my timeline and you can see how many cuts are in there. Now, my editor probably hates me for this as he spends the majority of his time cutting out my mistakes. But I found a tool that will edit your videos with AI with just one click. It will simply remove all the bad takes that you have done. It will take out all the silences that are in your video and it will further enhance your video by enhancing the audio and adding in some zoom ins. Now the tool that I'm talking about is called Kling AI and in this video I'm going to break it down for you as every creator can benefit from this. The best part is you don't need any technical skills. All you need to do is you go to Kling AI or click the link in the description down below, download it for free and you can get started editing your videos. After you've opened up Kling AI this is the dashboard that you will see. Here you can browse and find your product. So I have this tutorial video that I want to edit. Now I just hit open, then I can change my language to any language that I want. So for example, if I were to talk in Dutch, which is my native language, then I can change it right here. But for this, we're just gonna keep it in English and now we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna name it Runway AI Uncut. Then we hit continue. And here we have a few options to choose from. So first of all, you can take out the sinuses. This obviously needs to be done. Then next up, you can take out the bad takes. And this is costing editors the most amount of time. Like in my videos, for example, I have hundreds of mistakes in there. So that alone will cost you a few hours, which it will do for you with AI. And then you can also add in some jump cut zooms. And this adds like some slight zoom in to your video or like a zoom out, which is pretty smooth. Now, lastly, you can enhance the audio with AI. For example, on this video that I'm using, I'm using the camera audio. So I can enhance it with Kling AI. But that I will show you later. Let's now enhance and edit our video. So just for your reference, here are some of my mistakes that I make in my videos. <coughs> um, Runway AI has released Gentry. Now the videos that you're... Now, first of all, first of all... The so that took about... So that took about... So that took about... Now let's... Um, um, um. Okay, so you get the point. I've made quite some mistakes in my videos. But what Gling AI has just done is it cuts out all of those mistakes. It's not perfect yet, but it will help you a lot. So let me just show you the timeline. So here you can see it has already taken out some mistakes in there. So for example, we can see this um is removed, another um is removed, anywhere where I'm repeating myself will be removed. And overall on the entire timeline, there are a lot of mistakes removed. So the total time of my clip was 37 minutes and the total edited time will be 13 minutes. So about 20 minutes of raw recording footage has been removed by Gling AI. The first thing I always do is give instructions to my editor. So we can cut that entire part out of this. The way we do that is as follows. We can just hit the scissors, then we cut this out, we cut this out, we cut this out and we can cut out all of these mistakes. Runway AI has released their Gentry version to the public and the internet is going wild about it. And in this video, I'm gonna test it out. Oh, fuck. Okay, so you get the point. I'm adjusting my teleprompter and then I'm doing my intro and I make a lot of mistakes. Now it has automatically identified that I was making a mistake and it has cut out all of these versions. So I've done my intro like Runway AI like over three times and then it determined that this one was my last one. So it has kept this one in there. Now, what we can do is we can skip the cuts, then all of this is removed. So you can now see my intro. Runway AI has released their Gendry version to the public and the internet is going wild about. The videos that you're seeing right now have been generated by Runway. And in this video, I will waste my hard earned money on Runway Gentry. So yeah, that's pretty good at that even remove this word. And then we can see like here, I also make a few mistakes. So for example, if we go back to this, then you can see it is as follows. Runway AI. Now, first of all, how do you access Runway Gen 3? First of all, how do you access Runway Gen 3? And then yeah, here you can see I messed up a couple times and Gling AI has solved this by cutting this out. So if you take a look over my entire timeline, you see this happening a lot. So if we go also through the transcript, so you can see like all the times that I'm like repeating myself where cuts needs to be happening, Gling AI has made these cuts for me and it just saved a lot of time. Like it saved like over 20 minutes in terms of like raw footage, but also it saves a lot of time in my editing. Besides that, you can also edit based on your text so let's say for example you say a certain word so i know in my transcript i mentioned something about it being hot in this room 
So what I can type in, I type in hot. So I say here, damn it's hot in here. Like those lamps are pretty freaking hot. I want to remove that from my video. What I can do then is I can click on the scissors and now this will be cut out of that video and I can take out that whole segment. So here I was like waiting for something and I can just take this entire part out like that. So now it's all removed from my timeline and I've done that fast and easy within this text editor. I can also search on anything like, let's say for example, you mention something to your editor. Like for example, here I mentioned the name of my editor, Guri, and I can just edit this out. Sometimes the script editing isn't precise enough. If you need very precise cuts, then I would suggest to you to zoom in on your timeline and then to find the exact spot that you want to cut out. And then you hit split and then you can remove it by splitting another segment and then you can make that cut right here. So that way you're more accurate with taking out your bad footage. Besides that, you can adjust the pace of your video. If you click on pace, then you can set a page. So create an engaging view by adjusting the silence length. So ideally, I don't want to leave a lot of silences in my videos. So what I can do here is if I do 0.5 or more, then any pause that are longer than 0.5 seconds will be cut out of my video. And you can see that in this video, it has removed like 20 minutes worth of pauses in my video. Next up, we can enhance our footage. So like I mentioned, I'm not using my good microphone in this part. I'm using my camera microphone. What I can do now, I can remove noise from audio and this way it will get enhanced and it will even sound better. Just have a listen to these two examples so you can tell the difference. Runway AI has released their Gendry version to the public and the internet is going wild about it. The videos that you're seeing right now have been generated by Runway. Runway AI has released their Gendry version to the public and the internet is going wild about it. The videos that you're seeing right now have been generated by Runway. Next up, we have jump cut zooms. So here here in the enhance we can click on jump cut zoom and now this will load and then you can have zoom ins on your video in these clips it has added a zoom in so here we can see on this part it has added this zoom in right here so if you want to change the zoom in you can like make it a little bit less which i might have liked and you can choose if you want to center it to your face. Obviously, I'm already sitting in the center, so that doesn't really make a difference for me. But if you are not, you can change it to this. And now your video will be like more centered and more zoomed in. On all of these clips, you can toggle on or toggle off if you want to have this jump cut zoom in. So for example, if I turn it on right here, I have that zoom in. So now if I watch this, And we can see it zoomed in and lastly you can add some captions to your video so if you toggle this on it will add some smart captions to your video once you're done taking out all the mistakes of your video you're ready to export and the way you do that is as follows you can export to a few different formats so if you are using adobe premiere you can export it as an xml file and this means that once you take that xml file open it in premiere you can see all the cuts so for example let's say you've made a bad cut and you want to recover it, then you can do so in Adobe Premiere because you have the XML file. If you don't have Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, you can also go and download the video to an MP4. Now, lastly, if you just need it for subtitles, then you can also export as an SRT and then you can use that in your editing program to add some subtitles. In terms of pricing, there are three different options when it comes to Kling AI. Now, the first one is free. You get one hour of footage that you can edit with Kling AI. And if you use the link in the description, you actually get something extra with that. Now, the plan that I am on is the pro plan. And the reason I'm on that is because I record about like three to four videos per week. Now, if I count it out like per month, then that means that I'm doing at least 360 minutes of recording time. That comes down to like six hours. And my editor spends about like two hours to fix all my mistakes if it is not longer than that. So that means that with this, I'm saving him about 12 hours of headache. Well, this will only take me probably like 10 minutes to take out all my mistakes. So if you want to try out Gling AI for yourself, then I will leave the link for it in the description down below. If you want to watch more videos where I mention good AI video tools, then check the video that's on the screen right now.